Now to a 7 News alert, this man Dexter Lewis now facing the death penalty in the stabbing deaths of five people inside Pharaoh's Bar and Grill in Denver last year. Prosecutors announcing that decision this afternoon. And 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez live outside the courtroom. Lance, this is the first time the Denver DA has sought the death penalty in more than a decade. Denver, or, and it's it's rare that uh, prosecutors seek the death penalty case in Denver. You know, the last time prosecutors were successful in this county was in 1986. Political winds have changed since then. We have a governor who just put the brakes on a death penalty case out of Arapahoe County. And Mitch Morrissey, who was in this courthouse today for the hearing, I asked him if he took that into account. This case is a case that cries out for the death penalty based on the number of victims, the number of aggravating factors that we have. I can't be influenced by politics. Mitch Morrissey says he's never seen a case in his 30 years at the DA's office where five victims were killed at the hand of one individual. We have a man and four women that were allegedly laid down on the floor of a bar and butchered. And based on that, I think it's appropriate for us to seek the death penalty. Investigators say Dexter Lewis was armed with a knife when he entered Pharaoh's Bar and Grill last October and that he savagely and repeatedly stabbed five people during a robbery that netted $170. The bar was then set on fire. Two other men charged in that case, Joseph and Lionel Hill, pleaded guilty Tuesday. Joseph to five counts of first-degree murder, Lionel to aggravated robbery, arson, and second-degree murder. In exchange, neither of them will face the death penalty. It's formality, that's all it is. Family members believe Lewis is innocent and that his counsel is ineffective. You can go knock on anybody's door in Colorado and ask them about this case here, they'll tell you. You ask them about the James Home Theater shooting, they can't tell you. Even if they was there, they couldn't tell you about it because they sealed it and she kept it closed. This is the beginning of a long and difficult and expensive battle. And uh, it will last a long time and who knows the outcome. Now, Craig Silverman was a prosecutor in the Denver DA's office the last time they successfully sought the death penalty. That was against Frank Rodriguez, who was uh, convicted of brutalizing, stabbing, and killing Lorraine Martelli back in 1984. He was sentenced in 1986. Rodriguez, though, died of hepatitis in prison before the death sentence could be carried out. Live in Denver, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.